Hello students, I am Safiya, your science teacher. I hope everyone is well at your home and you are listening to the videos and following the instructions. So students, today we are going to learn the lesson Up in the Sky. Up in the Sky. Students, here are the pictures of some objects. You have to see and you have to identify where these are present. So, first one which you have seen, what it is? What is this students which you are seeing the image here? Where it is present, you have to think and write in your notebook. What is this when you can see this? So, I will give you a hint. It is seen in the sky. But what time you have to write? These are also the things which you can see in the night time in the night sky. Think what are these and write. What are these things students? Think and write in your notebook. I think these are your favorite. First one is the sun. Second is the plant. Third is the moon. Four are the stars. And fifth is the color pencils. From these some things are present up in the sky. What do you see in the sky in the daytime? You see a big, something big which is giving out light, right? And heat. Usually we draw it like this, right? What is this, students? It is sun. Sun is present up in the sky. It is visible in the daytime. We can see sun in the daytime. We get light and heat from the sun. Sun is a star. Sun is a star. It is bigger than our earth. We live on earth. So it is bigger than our earth. And it is very far from our earth. And as uh, the sun, as if you see, it is like a burning ball of fire. That means you can see when a ball is burning, how it be same. You can see that sun is also representing a burning ball of fire. So sun is also called as a burning ball of fire. Sun is present in the sky. Sun gives us light and heat. Sun has lot of heat. It is very hot. So no one can go near the sun. And as we know, earth is very far from the sun and sun is one star it is star it has its own light along with sun what you can see here all the planets will revolve around the sun because of sun only we are able to see the things in the daytime if there is no sun we cannot see anything in the daytime and not only that sun light is important for many things in our day to day life we use sunlight for drying of clothes, drying of land when it, whenever it is rainy season or whenever after rain you can see sunlight will be, um, all the water will be absorbed by the sunlight. It will be disappearing because of water will be changing into vapor and all. So sunlight is helpful for plants and as well as for animals. For all the living things sunlight is important. Food prepared by the plant is Possible the preparation of food of plant is possible because of sunlight. Without sunlight, in winter season we may feel very cool if there is no sunlight. So sun is an important thing which is present up in the sky. This sun is present in the daytime. In the same way, what uh, in the night time? In the night time you observe if you see the sky, 
what are the things present in the sky there are the small things which are twinkling right you know that poem what is that poem twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky so what are present in the sky stars when we can when we are able to see the stars in the night time sun you can see in the day time whereas these stars you can see in the night time and along with stars what you can see moon a white ball white circle ball spherical ball you can see in the night sky which looks very beautiful which gives us white color light in the night right so stars as we know that sun is a star in the same way there are some other stars present in the sky but those are not seen in the day time that is because sunlight is more bright than other stars so other stars are also present in the sky stars will have their own light and heat stars will be blinking because of their uh, sun because of their light and because how they are getting light because of the heat they have and these stars are very 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 far from our planet earth so the star which is near to us is the sun that's why it will look bigger but whereas the other uh, stars are also present which are more big than the sun but we cannot see them because they are very 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 far from us whereas the moon moon is called as the natural satellite so moon is a satellite of the earth earth is our planet right for example if it is earth here is the planet where we are living and this is the moon this is the moon so which will be revolving around the earth which is revolving around the earth so moon is a natural satellite of our earth moon does not have its own light it will take the light from the sun and it will reflect in the night time day time this moon will be taking the light and in the night time you can see it is giving out the light so moon is not a star moon is satellite and there is no life on moon there is no water there is nothing and no one can live on the moon not on the sun and not on the stars also only human beings can live on the planet earth and this moon if you see regularly moon will be changing its shape so there are different shapes of moons one of the shape is crescent then uh, half moon then the full moon so when moon rises okay that will be the starting of the night when it sets it is the end of the night in the same way sunrise you know sunrise in the morning time sun rises in the east okay it will rise from the east and it will set in the west it is rising from here and it is going down in the west in the that means when sun rises day will start and when sun sets day will end so that is how sun and moon in the same way moon will also rise up when moon rises then starting of night okay it will night will start and when moon sets the day will start okay one after the other they will rise first sun will rise so morning when it will set again moon will rise that is what night time again this moon will set then sun will rise so in this way the sun and moon are present so sun is present in the day time whereas moon is present in the night time and stars are also visible in the night time as i said there are different shapes of moons crescent moon complete moon and as well as the half moon and these are the objects which are present in the sky these are present up very up in the earth they are very high in the sky we can't see them we can't touch them right so if you see the moon moon will look very good it looks beautiful it will be white and it will be ground down so we would like to go to the moon yes yeah one day we may go to the moon by becoming an astronaut okay students so this was your lesson up in the sky students your homework or worksheet is this you have to complete this first is the blank dash is a burning ball of fire what is a burning ball of fire that you have to write here i said just now dash is a natural satellite what is a natural satellite that you have to write here name of our natural satellite 
we live on dash planet on which planet do we live that i have drawn and shown that you have to write here name what will happen if we go near the sun so as i said sun is far from us right from far from our planet earth so what will happen if we go near it because it is giving our light and heat so you have to think and write what will happen if we are going near the sun thank you students do your worksheet properly all the best bye bye